Hi, my name is Abigail. I'm a growth engineer here at Huli, and today I'd like to give you an inside look at how our team is using the Huli platform to manage our work. There's a lot of great features about the Huli platform that make it so easy for our remote team to stay organized, keep track of our tasks, manage shared resources. Everything we need is in this platform and we're using it every single day. So I'd love to dive in, show you some of my favorite features, what's the most useful for me, um, and show you what Huli is all about. So what we're looking at here is actually my own personal tasks. So these are um, tasks in our tracker that I have created and assigned to myself. Um, this is a way that I keep track of all of the tasks that I need to do. I work on a lot of different projects for Huli, so it's a lot to stay organized. But this way I can keep track of everything right in the tracker, and also everyone else on the team is able to see what I'm working on. They can check in on when things are expected to be done, and just get an idea of, um, you know, what I'm up to day to day. This project is connected with our GitHub repository, so this is everything that our engineering team is working on. Everything is synced with GitHub, so we can create issues. If I want to submit a bug report, I can do it here, and it'll also appear on our GitHub. And anybody from the community can actually go to our GitHub, submit an issue, and that will appear here in our tracker. So we don't need to go back and forth. Everything is kind of stored right in one place, and we can see these GitHub issues right alongside all of the other tasks in the tracker. Just as an example, I'll open an issue up here. This is an issue that was created by somebody on our engineering team, but because it's synced with GitHub, some of our community members have actually added comments to this issue. You can see those in the discussion down here. And if we open this issue up in GitHub, we can see that this conversation actually appears in GitHub as well. So if a community member wants to jump into the conversation, add a comment, ask a question, they can do that by interacting with our public GitHub repository. Um, but we don't need to be going back and forth to check GitHub. Those things will just appear right within our tracker. So this has been a super helpful way for us to keep everything in one place. We never need to leave the workspace to go check on GitHub because everything appears right there. Um, and it's a great way to kind of integrate um, communication from our community right within our own workflows. Here in my personal planner, this is where I'm actually keeping track of all of the tasks that I need to do personally. So on the left here is a list of all of the things that I've assigned for myself or things that have been assigned to me um, or just odds and ends, different tasks that um, need to be done. And on the right side is my schedule. So every single week I plan out all of the tasks that I want to do that week. I try to think about how much time each is going to take me and I'll block them into my schedule. It's very flexible. It changes not only week to week, but day to day as things come up. Um, like I said, I work on a lot of different projects for Huli, so it's, you know, a bit of mix and match throughout the week. But this is where I keep everything organized. Also, if I want to see any more information about a task that I have on my schedule, I can click on the issue tag here to open it up um, just right here in the sidebar. So I don't actually need to leave my planner to see all this additional information. So for example, this is a project that I'm working on. I've opened it up here in my planner and I can see all of the sub issues. I can see the notes um, as well as any activity or changes or updates to this project and the related issues. This has been a great tool for me to stay organized, stay on track, um, and it also provides a way for my team to see what it is that I'm working on, when I'm free, when I'm busy, um, all of those kinds of things. Everything that I've added to my own personal planner, which I've set as a visibility of visible to everyone, actually appears here on the team planner as well. So this makes it possible for anyone to um, come onto the team planner and see what I have scheduled for the day, what I'm planning to work on, and about how long those things are gonna take me. Um, this is really helpful if somebody wants to schedule a meeting with me, um, or if someone wants to check in about uh, the status of an issue that I'm working on. The inbox is where I'm managing all of my notifications from throughout the workspace. For example, this is a notification about a, a bug report that I submitted to the team. I'm getting a notification because Christina, who's working on the issue, set the status to to-do. So this will appear in my inbox, and I can just immediately open it up and see everything I need to. And what's great about this is that 
um, these notifications also go to the Telegram app on my phone. So I've activated the Telegram integration with my um, Huli account, and this allows me to receive notifications from Huli on my phone and also respond to those notifications as well. So because I work from home, um, sometimes I need to step away from the computer, go let my dogs out. Sometimes I have appointments that come up. So it's really helpful for me to be able to stay in touch with the team and see important notifications right from my phone, even if I need to step away from my computer for a little bit. We're also using chat. These notifications go to my phone as well. And our team has switched over entirely from Slack to using chat within Huli. So Huli chat actually acts pretty similar to Slack. Um, not really feeling like I'm missing anything at all. Um, for example, you know, I can open up a message in a thread here. Um, I can reply to messages. There's also options just like in Slack to add emojis, bookmark a message, pin it to the top. I can copy a link to a specific message. Um, but the cool thing about chat in Huli is that it's integrated with the rest of the workspace. So I can also link to issues in the workspace. I can link to documents. Everything is um, integrated, making it easy to have a discussion about a specific issue or um, a document or something like that. We're also using our virtual office space every single day to have our team meetings. So as you can see, each person on the team has their own office space. And we also have several meeting rooms where we can have video conferencing either um, as a full team or in small groups. And any team member can also visit another team member's office to have just a quick audio call if we need to have a quick check in or something like that. This is something we use every single day and it's super, super helpful to not have to book through like a separate um, video conferencing app like Zoom or Google Meet. Everything is right here in the platform. I can pin the, the video call to the side of my screen and I can still use the platform and look at things that we're discussing while we're in the meeting. And all of that has been really, really critical to our work as a remote team. Another feature that I'm using every single day is documents. So here I have things like um, drafts of YouTube videos. I have notes on some of our partnerships. I'm also writing drafts of blog posts. So I'm using documents every single day um, to manage content creation notes, um, all kinds of things that are related to the projects I'm working on. Um, and these are great because I can share them with the team. I can link to them from issues. Uh, it's just a great way to stay organized and keep everything in one space. These also are kind of like um, Google Docs in that they can be, uh, you can have many team members collaborating on a document together. So that's a really neat feature of documents that has been super useful to our team as well. These are the things that I've found super helpful using the platform with my team. But of course, there's tons of features that we're using that are just too many to show in one video. But I just wanted to give an inside look at how our team is using Huli and hopefully inspire you for how your team could use Huli as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment or get in touch with me on our Slack community. Thanks. See you in the next one.